A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than for your whole body to go into hell. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that anyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of unchastity, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, uh, today Jesus gives very important moral and ethical rules, but mainly moral rules about uh, the way we look at people, our lust and desire versus uh, our open and loving heart. What is adultery? That it's not just the actions, but I can hurt somebody and do even worse in my heart. And uh, obviously reinstituting that uh, marriage is uh, unbreakable. But even more so, Jesus tells us today about our own desires. And he says, your eyes are the source of what we see is what we often want. And those eyes are a symbolism of uh, those desires. And Jesus asks us, what do you want? And does it make you better? Because us living in a very consumeristic uh, society, we see and we want, and we want, and we want, and God is saying, where is your discernment? Does that make you better? Because we often want something, we get it, and then we throw it away, we toss it, and we often do it with people too. And God says you have to discern. A Christian is a person who asks themselves, are there good fruits from me buying this, of me treating another person like this, of me desiring this? If not, why do I want it? And that's why a Christian is a person who educates themselves first in who they are, in what is good for them, in what is good for the world. And that's how they act upon. I will need this as a tool to become better, to do more good, and not just to satisfy myself. Because if we, in our heart, have that established, we're not going to use other people as just the means to what we want. Think about that. Have a blessed Friday, and God bless to you all.